I want to tell you something that you're not going to like. I'm not sure I really like it, but it's a fact. It's something I've got to get used to about God. God will never take away from you the thing that you value the most. And let me tell you what you value the most. Let me tell you what you value more than your wife, more than your husband, more than your children, more than your parents, more than your home, more than country, and more than God. What you value more than anything is the freedom God has given you to choose. God created us a free moral agency with the ability to choose right from wrong. And God will never, ever take that freedom away from you. Never. Because it's the thing that you value the most. And to blame God for giving you that freedom is like, well, it's like the Bible says, the fool has said in his heart, there is no God. Did you know that there are beings that never sin? They never make a mistake. It's, they're called cows. <clears throat> cows. You know, cows, they sit around, chew, uh, stand around, chew the cud and drool and eat grass. And, but they never sin. They never make a mistake. Do you want to be a cow? You know, God could have programmed you to always make the right decisions, but you're not a robot. You're a free moral agent with the ability to choose. And that's the God. In other words, that, you share the nature of God. Freedom to choose, right from wrong. You're created in God's image and likeness. And part of being in God's likeness is that you have the freedom to choose. You're not programmed. You're not a robot. You have the freedom to choose. Deuteronomy 30 and verse 19. Deuteronomy 30 and verse 19 says, I call heaven and earth to, re to record this day against you that I have set before you life and death, blessings and cursings. Therefore, choose life that both you and your seed may live. God says, I want you to choose life. And there's two choices, life or death, blessings or cursings. That's your choice. You may not like it. It may be tough. It may be hard for you to choose the right thing. But get used to it. Who said it was going to be easy? Who promised you a rose garden, for pity's sakes? No, it's tough. Two choices, the tree of life and the knowledge of good and evil. 